I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire Vero model laptop. The exact manufacturer model for this one is an AV15-52-77MH and that information can be found on the bottom sticker of the laptop in case you need to find yours. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and replace the battery or remove the battery for your laptop. It's really easy and you can do it really under two or three minutes. And this applies for any Acer Aspire Vero model, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same model that is mentioned earlier. So it, as long as it's an Acer, Acer Aspire Vero, you're fine. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. It's a Phillips number one from the iFixit screwdriver set. And if you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And we're going to start removing all the screws from one corner all the way up to the middle of one two. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Alright, once we removed all the screws, what are you going to do? Double check if you haven't missed any. You're going to start on the back side. You're going to stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeter inside there between the palm rest and the cover right there. And what are you going to do? You want to flip it outward and you want to hit those big clicks it makes like a nice click sound you want to do those you want to hear those you want to do that all around on the back end in the corner in here you want to do that too you stick it right in there and flip it right there do the left and right side and now we're going to go on the side same thing on the sides you want to stick it between the gaps about one or two millimeters not don't stick the whole guitar pick inside and do that all the way to the front end. You can do the front row or you can just do it the sides. I'm going to do in this video the sides only, but if you want it, you can go and do the front end right in here. Same thing. But I usually do the sides and the back and I lift it up and work it around and it will release itself on the front side. All right, then we're going to see the whole big battery right in front of you. The model name is right over here, it's an AP. 20 CBL. I'll try to get link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Alright, before we do anything, we're just gonna disconnect the battery by pulling this gaffer's tape to one side. You want to put your fingernails on the side of the jack, right out on the first hinge, and you want to pull it back a straight 90 degree. It's straight, I mean. Okay, once you disconnected the battery, you want to remove only two screws, one on each corner. Go ahead and remove these two screws. Okay, once you remove these two screws and the battery will just simply come out right there. Simple. And if you want to remove the CMOS battery, the BIOS battery is right over here. This one has to be replaced every five, six years. Probably even longer than that. The jack is right there. You simply pull it out and pull it back in and replace it. But you don't have to worry about that one. All right. So this is new laptop, so I don't have reason to change it. In case you want to, let's say that you got a new one, you want to bring it down, set it down, make sure the screw holes right in here match. There's a little pin hole right there. Make sure it goes on the first and the second one right there. Next, before we put the screw, we're just going to Align the jack straight inside the connector and pinch it together and all the way in. Grab the gaffer's tape, put over the cable so the cable don't come over. Nothing's happening if you don't even put it. And the last thing is to put the two screws on the battery. Also, it's very important how you're going to do your initial charge. I'm going to go over how you can do that. And one last thing is to grab the bottom cover. Put it over and just punch the corners in. Just push them down. Make sure you hear those click sounds. You want to hear all those on the sides. And the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom screws. 
Also, regarding the charging the battery, you don't want to power on the, uh, the laptop right away. You want to plug in the charger and set it there for five to six hours in a, on an off mode state. Leave it there for charging five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to power on without the charger connected. And you want to drain the battery slowly. Once the battery charge is down to 15 or 20 percent, then you want to power off the laptop and you want to charge it again five to, to six hours without powering it on. And this is very important. That's called the initial charge and discharge. It's really important that you guys do this if you want your battery to last longer. And that covers this video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up all the screws.